The inalienable right to love is your birthright. Let's call it a birthright. It's easier to say than inalienable. But it is your birthright. It's as much your birthright as your skin. And the other parts of those rights in the Bill of Rights of the Declaration of Independence are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You know how you get those? Love. It is the responsibility of us to show how we love to liberate ourselves in the world. I'm sure we all can recall a time where someone said just the thing that took us into a new consciousness of ourselves. That came through a spirit of love. It didn't come through manipulation. I don't know anybody who changes their mind by someone who's trying to prove they're, they're right and you're wrong. But that experience of love moving through another person can wake up another person. This is supposed to be a thriving, loving world. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, those are not things you can buy. They happen because of the expression of yourself. And it really gets magnified when you're doing it with another person. I received a Christmas card probably 15 years ago from someone who wrote in it something I'll never forget. She said, I just love to watch the way you love people. That's true for you too. I love to watch the way you love people. And going back to the, you might be the only face a person sees, that person might have a gift this world needs so badly. And the only way it's gonna be freed up and brought into the world if, so, if someone sees them. Isn't that true for your experience? Like you became somebody else and brought more of yourself because somebody saw you and someone said, let's do this together.